Bevanitos Fright fans, welcome to the Horror Show. I'm Jaime and Fuego. Hi, I'm Andrew Mercer. Derek Heron. I'm Cecil Laird. <laughs> and I'm Jaime and Fuego, and we are here, yes, <laughs> just to remind you guys, there's been a lot of trailer reactions today, <laughs> in case you forgot. But this is one called Seven Sisters originally, but it's actually been recently retitled for the North American market to what happened to Monday, or whatever happened to Monday, I can't recall exactly, but Numi Rapis is the selling point of this, the fact that she's playing a ton of different characters, and it's sci-fi, horror, thriller kind of thing, so don't expect like tons of gore or anything crazy like that, but uh, a cool cast beyond her that is eluding me, but she is the focal point, so let's see what this is about. What do you think, man? Totally, guys. I'm Cecil Laird, and let's do this. <laughs> yeah. right. oh, don't forget Dirk Heron and Andrew Mercer. Stuff yeah, tomorrow. Dirk Heron. Ready to watch. Oh, Way man. to let them organically work it in. Jeez. <laughs> oh, All right. Three, two, one. Seven sisters. Why not give them an opportunity? Three, two, one, go. In the last 50 years, we've doubled our population. Every four days, there's a million more people on the planet. It is the biggest crisis in human history. The doctor Nicolette Cayman has prompted the Federation to institute a one-child-per-family policy. And making a better future huh? for our children. One child per family policy. How do you plan on hiding? It's What's like children of men. Yeah. Have you thought about names? Oh, yo. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Those are the days of the week. Starting to tomorrow, go. you will each Early. get to go outside on the day of the week that is your name. Sunday, we'll get to go outside on Sunday. Monday on Monday, and so on. Right. Outside of these Ooh. walls, you will all take on the singular identity of Karen Sedman. What the what? What's your name? Karen Sedman. Karen, do you have any siblings? No. Is she playing all of them? Mm -hmm. yeah, it's it's wow. Whatever you're doing, you can never tell us <laughs> all the <laughs> Where the hell is she? She's pulling an orphan black? What if my yeah. That's fucking awesome. And the authorities find her before we do. We gotta help her. We gotta go out there. Huh. We have to keep this localized. <clears throat> do not underestimate the Septnans. All right, so this looks more like sci-fi action thriller, but yeah. I'm really glad we looked at it. Hell yeah! Um, that looks really cool, and, and yeah, it did look very Orphan Black. Um, and I watched the first like two seasons of that. Nah, it's a bummer to see so many similarities, but um, it's cool to see that. big budget, uh, you know, put towards it. Boyga, what did you think? I've never seen Orphan Black, so this looks awesome to me. <laughs> cool. You like yeah. seeing Numi play that many different roles? Absolutely. Anytime, I mean, whether it's... Seven of them, clearly. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, whether it's Split, which Dirk Heron loved so much, or, um, you know... <laughs> <laughs> Is his favorite of the year so far? <laughs> Whatever it may be, I mean, and the rest of the cla class cast being rounded out by uh, Glenn Close, who I just loved in Girl With All the Gifts, and then Willem Dafoe is awesome in anything he's in, so... Yeah, yeah count Except me for um, Spider-Man. Really? I mean, as the, well, as the Green Goblin. With the dumb helmet yeah, on. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. I doubt that was even him in the dumb helmet, but yeah, nonetheless. Probably not. No, um, Andrew, him thoughts? Um, now. I, I liked it. It was really good. Uh, <laughs> it was, uh, I didn't really see the whole, uh, you know, like, same person, you know, three different people, same person, identity thing uh, with the high tech. I didn't see that coming at all until... They showed her putting on a different wig or whatever. Um, it looks cool. I, I'm trying to think of the name of the movie. It's a... Uh, uh, it's the one where she ends up becoming, like, 
in tune with everything or whatever. Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, yeah, Lucy. Lucy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lucy. It, it kinda, does have a little bit of that, It's got a little too. bit of that kind of a feel to it with an Ex Machina <clears throat> kind of a vibe, too. Uh, Luke, Luke Besson. AI, a, yeah. artificial intelligence and all that kind of good stuff. But I, I'm, I'm super intrigued. It looks cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thumbs up. Cool. Dirk? I thought it looked cool, like, seeing all the Naomi's together. You know, like, I thought they did a, a really good job of layering all the characters. Big time. They, yeah. they, they seem to act well together, and, and she's putting on, like, seven different roles, too. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. I, I don't know. I think it looks neat. Nice. I would, I'd check it out. Yeah. Cool. So, so does it look better than Split? Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> it's like there's way more going on <laughs> than Split. So, Alright nice, guys, nice. well that's going to do it for our reaction to Seven Sisters, which ended up being way more big budget than I thought it was going to be. Mm. I, I saw it was, you know, foreign-ish, uh, and I was like, uh-oh. Um, but uh, maybe it's just because it's a foreign trailer, the international trailer that I was we were actually um, reacting to. But yeah, Actually, I think it's a French movie at the end of the day, which is tense the subtitle. Makes so, sense. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, I'm excited for it. So let us know in the comments down below what you guys thought of this one. But until next time, I've been Cecil Laird. Maybe see you. I've been Jaime Fuego. I'm Andrew Mercer. Dirk Heron. And remember, stay scared. And I'm Andrew Mercer. I'm Jaime Fuego. I'm I'm Dirk Heron. I don't remember who I am. (laughs) 